Hi, I'm Eric, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like what you see, subscribe for more golf videos every week. How, do you, how would you describe this place? Ooh, the golf course itself? Yeah. Beautiful, tranquil. I mean, look at the views we've got. On this side here, running parallel with the Waitangi River. You've got all the bird song with all the birds and the trees throughout there. And then on the other side here, you've got the views of the Moana, of the ocean. I mean, for a public course in New Zealand, you can't beat it. Clive Shane, I'd like to um, bestow you with a small honor. You are the first Maori, yes. in full or in part, to take part in Ace Camp. Um, what do you have to say to the people at home? Well, I feel honoured to be the first uh, Maori Ace Cam player today because this ball is going in the hole. Yes, that's intense. I like that. I like the <laughs> intensity. <laughs> <laughs> We heard there was a hole in one challenge. The clubs and you buy the balls. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Ace Cam's live, he's a bit unsure. There it is. It's down where that pole is. Wow. Yeah, yeah I guess uh, we'll get three balls. Sound good? Yeah. We got here. <laughs> oh, wow. Interesting. Like a How did this start? Um, yeah. I mean, Sandro, who was here before, um, carried it on, but they, yeah, the old owners set it up and we sort of just stuck with it. Um, but yeah, I'd say that it did not get mowed last week. Um, so, okay. Yeah, normally it's mowed every week. So now we get 2,000 uh, if it goes in the hole? Is that right? <laughs> I can't say I, that. I that's what I heard you say. <laughs> I swear I heard you say that. Did you, say that on, did you get that on camera? Yeah. This is interesting. It's $5 to shot for you, Dan. It's kind of a hard. It kind of is, yeah, you're right. Let's see, here we go. It doesn't look that far. Nice shot. It's so hard to hit it off that. Really real. It's like a trick shot. It's, in fact, this is actually the hardest part of the whole thing. <clears throat> this wooden platform. There you go. Oh, wow. Come on. All right, well, thank you for having us. That was fun. Appreciate it. thing about this part of New Zealand as you come up you know hour hour and a half from Auckland is all these little towns they just you look like you're in Hawaii meets I don't know kind of like the Hamptons but obviously there's no fancy cars like everyone's just got a normal car and there's no lines and there's like a ton of golf courses everywhere you go a lot of great food the air is great and I'm just wondering why you don't live here This is sick. Maybe that's where we're gonna go play golf in a minute. So is this where the yeah, like across the water? This place looks sick. Good rubber. Good to see it. You look shattered. Hi, uh, Jay. How you doing, bro? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? This is the scare. So, it's... Hey. What's up? Uh, Colt. Colt. Shane. 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 Eric, Nick. Please meet you. Eric, Shane, how are you, man? Hey, Shane, how are you? Colt, bro. Colt. Hey, how are you going, bro? Sure. Yeah, sure. Nice to meet you, Shane. Hey, Shane. Now, this is a great spot. It's really beautiful. 
from that's, all the boats. And that's the course right over behind us. You can see it from here. I was wondering if you could. That bit of grass right there? Yeah. And so... That's the that's where they signed the our declaration of independence. And they put a golf course there. Yeah, golf course. They so Lord Bledisloe owned all the land next next door, and then he gifted it to the community and put a put a golf course in there. Yeah. And now we're in a beautiful hotel with some boats and a little dock. So oh, how often do you uh, come over here? Ooh, we get over here at least mm, once or twice a, a fortnight. We come across here too, the Duke actually. What's a fortnight? A month? You know, uh, every two weeks or so. Yeah. <laughs> I love We've it. We've got good friends that play live music here. And you get, how do you, you gave me multiple names. How, what is the, the, there's a nickname you gave me? Can you explain uh, that? Uh, Tipani is my surname. And a lot of people uh, call me Tipani or Tip. So they call me by my surname. So that I don't get mixed up with all the other Nicks that we know. Right. And it, is there any heritage to your name? <laughs> yeah, it's Stephanie. So... Hensi, Shane, I'm Nick. But are you guys okay. brothers? No, first cousins. First cousins, yes. right. My father and uh, Shane's mother or brother and sister. Right. And they're two out of 22. Whoa, that's a big family. Big family. <laughs> Back in those days. And are we, what are we riding now? What are we gonna do now? We're getting on a ferry? Yep, we've got a taxi boat down there that's gonna take us across to the other side. So uh, what we do whenever we come here, Shane, myself, our cousins and friends, is we um, pay our respects to the waka. And um, that waka is our waka, our whanau waka, our family waka that goes back through the generations. And the name of the big waka is called Nga Toki Matawharua. So whenever we come here, we always go to the waka and um, pay our respects. And in doing so, paying our respects, we do what we call the hongi. Do you know how the Māori greet? Yes. Yes. The pressing of nose and forehead together at the same time. Yes. The pressing of your nose is what we call tihe Māori order, which means the sharing of one's breath of life. And the pressing of your forehead together at the same time is the passing of uh, your good thoughts. So whenever we come up here, we come up here in front of Ngātoki Matawharua, we will walk up, we will come down and we will press nose and forehead together. Yep. And then that way we're paying our respects to the waka before we wander up through the grounds here. We come here as friends and we depart as whānau. You, you depart here as part of our family. You know, we're, we're the Tipani clan from over the other side here. And uh, when we hungi with you here, we uh, bring you under the umbrella of our family here. And also Dave, which is, you know, part of our family too. And we'd like to extend that to you guys. The greeting, you can extend your hand, come together and nose and forehead, you just come together and close your eyes, good thoughts and kāpai, kia ora, kāpai, kia ora.
Nailed it. Ah, got a cup I. Cup I. Cup I. Now you're in trouble because you're all our family. <laughs> We're part of the family now. Does that mean that I'm responsible for your dad? Or... <laughs> Dude, we Let's play some golf. We go play. Yeah. Where we are and where we're going to be playing golf is the birthplace of the nation, is that true? Yes. Right here is where the treaty was signed. Just like on the cap. Right here. This is the spot. This is the spot. Why did they put a mask there? Just to represent uh, the British on this side over here, the Union Jack. Our sovereignty flag over here, the Māori flag. And of course, uh, I tell you, a New Zealand flag up the top there. Shane, do you want to go first? It's your home. Oh, I don't want to go first. Close. Close. This guy's put me on. Next on the tee, wow. from Madison, New Jersey, Eric Lang. Yeah. I love this grass. Oh, oh my god, did you smell that? What? East. <laughs> little, little coming in off the left. I'm going to draw off the left center of the green here. Pretty good, 15 footer. Oh, that's pretty downwind, my guy. Well, you know, it's a little right ace. You know, I, I did hear you say this ball is going in the hole, but you didn't say in one shot. I think that's just ace cam, but it's a fine. You just to park him is another thing. It's good. What you don't know is the other greens on the other side there. Uh -huh. You're playing to the next hole. I'm playing to the next hole. I see, that's smart. That's called cart path golf in America, and I respect it. Oh! This is oh! so good. It's good! Oh! Oh! 15 footer for birdie. Nice shot. Be on the same green as Shane Dog, which is the wrong green. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, I thought that'd go. Yeah, that's, that's a good touch. Thank you. I take it. Fish. I whipped up some, uh, some aioli with some harissa through that and then these boys caught you the crayfish this morning get and I cooked it up while you guys were hitting shots. Get into the grill here. This is this is handmade. This is our local crayfish. Right from the thanks for shame. It doesn't get better than that. That's good shame. I mean that's a sandwich. That's what you call a real kiwi sandwich. That is a real kiwi sandwich. No, I've never really had anything like it. We call it crayfish here too. We call it lobster. 
Yeah, that's a lobster. Yeah. You call it crayfish? Crayfish. Stu, do you want to have to try one, brother? I know He's you. like, time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. 